generally in the region, um, policies geared towards integration are meant to be built on statistics. They can't be designing or even trying to monitor um, such policies without having the data to support. Um, so the work in statistics, my work as well, is, is closely tied to that objective, making sure that we are providing the relevant data at the, at the appropriate time um, such that uh, us as the secretary can um, do the necessary analysis to determine whether or not the policies that we're, we're seeking to implement are effective or we need to recalibrate for some change of course or, or the direction. So, so my work in a general sense is tied to that, that objective. If I am to drill down a bit more, specifically economic statistics, which is you know, the area that I'm grounded in, I mean, uh, regionally, countries are, are first and foremost focused on the performance of their economies. So economic statistics provides a picture, not just for, for those economies, but for the region as a whole, as it relates to how we are performing economically. Um, and we know once, once our countries are performing well economically, it can then lead to, you know, spill-off effects or spill-off benefits for other areas, uh, which I might not be, you know, too uh, integrally involved in, but uh, but that's just to recognize the importance of the portfolio, first and foremost, economic statistics um, for the region. Okay. Usually, when we say, and, and I think I want to delve into another aspect of statistics, when we usually we talk about statistics, people just think about the numbers being produced, but there's there's an aspect of statistics that is often overlooked, which is the, the methodology behind those numbers, right? Um, we need to ensure, um, and this also forms a, a, a critical part uh, of my work, we need to ensure that countries are adopting the right methodology in the production of their numbers. So a, a big part of my work is to ensure that um, capacity within member states is of, uh, is of the, uh, the, the right standard um, such that we are fairly comfortable that member states are employing the right methodologies in their different economic areas, right? Because at the end of the day, we want to be sure that when we compare countries uh, among ourselves and compare ourselves internationally, uh, we're comparing apples to apples. So uh, a big aspect of, of, of our work is to ensure that capacity building is, is sustained and uh, is direct to member states. Usually when you think of capacity building, you think of, of workshops, um, which is an old tried and proven methodology or method. But these days we're trying to go about it a little bit um, in, in, you know, in a new manner, in the sense whereby we tap into our own skilled persons within the region. So we're, we're in the process of developing what we call centers of excellence. The centers of excellence just refers to cases within the region where one country has a known um, capacity or known skill for producing a certain type of data. So if I might point to a specific example, Jamaica, uh, well respected for, for their knowledge and their ability to produce detailed national accounts information. So we will try to, uh, our work right now will be try to um, develop an, a center of excellence within the, the stats office of Jamaica, such that if anybody else within the region is looking for such help, we can you know, direct and link them with, with, with that office. Uh, <laughs> a typical day would entail a fair amount of, I don't want to say chasing, uh, chasing down information, but I think I can't phrase it any other way. It's chasing down information because, uh, you know, when we think of, uh, of, of statistics information, people more, more than likely will think that, you know, you just go to the stats office and you get that information. But in our region, the statistics offices are not the only producers of statistic data. There are other players within the statistics system that um, that are responsible for other you know, other data sets. So, so your job in terms of, of trying to get or trying to source your information may require that you tap into you know these other players, and it's not an easy it's not an easy task. Um, and when you do find the data, the data may not be in the form that you want. And then you have to you know, do your own research to see how you can convert and so on and so forth. So, you know, a, a typical day is, is 
chasing for lack of a better term, chasing down data in order to fill data gaps, especially in the newer areas, you know, that we're trying to, you know, we're trying to produce more information about. For example, trading services. Uh, right now I'm working on a publication on trading services. And services is a is a growing, you know, a growing sector for our regional economies. We're no longer just solely reliant on, on trade or tourism. Services is emerging as a new uh, as a new area. So uh, the, the, the history of our region, however, is that we don't have um, great storage of uh, services data. So, you know, this this particular area, this is one of the instances where I may have to tap into a central bank or some other player in order to get that information. Uh, but it is important that we reflect what's happening in these new and emerging sectors to give an idea to our policymakers where resources should probably be you know, directed to um, for the sake of, of a better regional picture.